The Kansas City Chiefs young core is more intimidating than ever before. So let me give you guys a crazy stat, right? In week 11, Jonathan Taylor rushed for 1.6 yards over expected per carry, while Dalvin Cook was good for 1.2. There's a rookie that plays for the Kansas City Chiefs named Isaiah Pacheco, who was a secret weapon, but the past couple of weeks since he became a starter, not so much. I mean, the 23-year-old out of Rutgers, he ran a 4.37. That's the fastest out of all running backs in the league. He was 2.4 yards over expected per carry against the Chargers, good for second out of 28 players. The first one was James Cook, and you had Tony Pollard right behind him. You had guys like Jonathan Taylor and Delva Cook. So Pacheco, he's already put himself into not necessarily one of the best backs because he's a rookie, he's got a lot to prove, but it's clear that there's not many running backs in the league who run harder than him. And once he gets the pass blocking down and some of the fundamentals, I mean, you're looking at a three down back. But what's going on, guys? Swag, you're back. And today we're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs. They took out the Chargers last night. Mahomes has never lost on the road against the AFC West. It's pretty remarkable. And the thing about the Chargers is I do like them a lot. And I find myself talking about how they're so banged up. But the Chiefs were banged up as well. They were missing multiple key players. For example, you know, McCall Hartman, right? They were missing their, their safety in the second half. They were missing Juju. Tony. So they're missing all these starters and they go out there and they execute. And a lot of that has to do obviously with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. I mean, you're looking at the best tight end in the history of football. He just passed Gronk. He broke one of his, his records and Kelsey is 33 years old and he's torching Derwin James. Now Derwin James, he's the best player on the Chargers and Charger fans will be the first to tell you that. Obviously Herbert is the most important because he's a quarterback, but the most talented player on that team is Derwin James. And he had no answer for the demon that was out for the kill and Travis Kelsey. The Chiefs just continue to win football games no matter what. I mean, the Chargers gave them too much time and they had this monster like 75 yard drive at the end of the game with less than two minutes. And I, I just don't even know what to say, bro. You know, obviously I've, I've got to put some words into a video because I'm a YouTuber, but I don't even, how do I even describe the Kansas City Chiefs? Well, I guess I would start off with Brett Veach who brought in Bacheco, Sky Moore, who had a monster game compared to what he had done all season, Justin Watson. Jody Fordson, Nick Bolton, Willie Gay, they combined for 25 tackles between them. Two tackles for a loss, a sack, a forced fumble, and a game ceiling interception. Mike, uh, hopefully I say this correctly, he had two sacks, I'm going to butcher this, but Mike Dana, if I'm, if I'm Dana, if I'm saying that, I don't know, someone let me know, someone can correct me down below, but he had, he had a monster game, bro, two sacks, and the Chargers offensive line, it doesn't give up sacks very often, so the fact that he was able to get in there, he's a, obviously, he was drafted by Feech, and he had a good game. So the Chiefs, they were also with a lot of young rookies in the secondary, whether that was to starting or if it was a replacement for an injury, and they were able to come through. They really did a good job in Herbert. I want to say the only points the Chargers had in the second half was that touchdown in late in the fourth quarter. So... Yeah, I mean, what an impressive win for the Chiefs. This was the type of game where they were favored going into it. Don't get me wrong here, but the Chargers, they needed this game, bro. If the Chargers had won this game, it would have put them much farther ahead. I mean, now they're in the hunt, but with a win here, it would have put them in the legit in the playoff picture and the division would be in reach. But yeah, I mean, to this point, the Chargers, the best they can do is going to be a wild card finish and the Chiefs now at eight and two. The sky's the limit. They're getting closer and closer to that number one seed. They, they have it, I guess, because, well, yeah, they, they have it. I know that because they did lose to the Bills, but the Bills are, they barely escaped a Cleveland Browns team. So, and technically the Bills weren't at home. They were in Detroit, but it was a home game for them. But I mean, I'm looking at Travis Kelsey and he's the focal point for this video. And even though the main title is about the Chiefs young core and how intimidating it is, but I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs are Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. And speaking of Kelsey, he recorded his 33 career 100 yard receiving game, passing Rob Gronkowski for the most in NFL history by a tight end. He also recorded his 136th consecutive game with at least one reception, which is the most consecutive games with a reception in franchise history. It's also the second most consecutive games with a reception in NFL history. If anyone knows who's first, I'd love to know. I didn't see that when I was researching, but if somebody has the answer for that, that, that would be really cool to know. So Kelsey, of course, he had three receiving touchdowns against the Chargers, which marked the 10th time in NFL history uh, for, I guess, for you know, a player who went out there and had multiple receiving touchdowns. And the crazy thing is, 
I'm looking at Kelsey, and he had four touchdowns against the Raiders not too long ago. So, I mean, this is just a man possessed right now. Even though, I, like I said, I'm a huge Charger guy. I love the Chargers and their fans and what they have going on. But every time Travis Kelsey is coming to town, I'm, I'm terrified. And as soon as he, he burnt Derwin on that route and was getting to the end zone, I knew it was over. And I basically said to myself, man, the demon, he's out for the kill. And he just crushed the Chargers. Not season, but he crushed the Chargers kind of like any hope they had at the division. And I, this is just sets the Chargers back. I mean, I think they'll still make the wild card, but man, like, you know, talk about momentum, picking up a win against a division rival, snapping Patrick Mahomes' undefeated streak on the road. But they had the Chargers just had no answer on, on defense for the Chiefs in the second half. They had no answer on offense against the Chiefs besides that last drive for Herbert. And Mahomes, he has 45 career passing touchdowns to Kelsey. It is the third most by any quarterback, tight end, and do whatever over a five-year span, 2018, when Mahomes came to starter to now, 2022. And you know, being down 27 to 23 and having that six-place, 75-yard drive capped off with a 17-yard touchdown pass to Kelsey. I mean, the Chiefs, they were also down 20 to 13. They outscored the Chargers 17 to 7 in the second half. They're 8 and 2 now. They've got the number one seed. And the Chiefs are rolling right now. If you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan... You've got to be feeling good. You've got to be feeling motivated. And if you haven't already, hit the like button for the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to keep giving you guys Chiefs videos. I understand that the Chiefs have a team and that I can't be like, oh, I, I predicted the Chiefs to, to be all that coming to the season. I mean, to the Kennedy City Chiefs. But I did read a lot of articles and there was teams that had the Chiefs not winning the division. There was many articles saying that the Chiefs weren't even a top seven team in football coming into the power rankings. And it was crazy because... They were in the AFC Championship, and they did lose Tyreek Hill, but they brought in a lot of young talent. They brought in a veteran like Juju Smith-Schuster on, on a cheap one-year deal. And the way they drafted and, and bringing in some sleepers, and overall, they've got some stud linebackers. And the Chiefs just, Matt Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, I understand that I talked about them for the majority of this video, but what it comes down to is this young core and how intimidating it is. I don't see a world where the Kansas City Chiefs don't go back to the AFC Championship. And this time around, they'll be more prepared and they just have a lot more depth and the defense it's just it's so good bro the Chiefs defense is so good and despite it being young that's that's why it's so good because it's explosive it's making big plays and these linebackers and and just I'm looking at a guy obviously like like McDuffie bro who was one of my favorite prospects coming into the draft I thought the Chargers would get him at 17 they did not and you know obviously they took all that offensive lineman out of Boston College Zion Johnson but you know, playmakers, playmakers win Super Bowls. The Chiefs, they have an abundance of playmakers. And I'm going to be late to class, so I have to sign out here. But like I said, I had to get this out. I'm going to edit um, on campus after my class and get this out to you guys. But yeah, guys, hopefully you have a good one. It's your boy Swag. I'm signing now. Hit the like button. Let's try to get to 200 likes on this video, man. I'd really appreciate it, guys. And Chiefs Kingdom, y'all be showing love all season more than anyone else. It's lit, bro. It's lit.